Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer requested question is from Daniel Boyd on the YouTube. In the 1970s, some experiments in Project JCATCH tested attack helicopters, AIM-9 and cannon armed against fixed wing fighters. The surprising conclusion was that the fighters should stay far away from the attack helicopters and engage them only at long range with air-to-air missiles. Supposedly, the choppers would engage the fighters without the fighters even knowing they were under attack. I suggest you guys try this out. And that is exactly, that is right up our alley. That is what we want to test. JCAT, it was short for Joint Countering Attack Helicopter. It was a joint US Army Air Force experiment in dissimilar air combat between jet fighters. And note, jet fighters, we're not talking about attack planes, we're not talking about Harriers and A-10s, jet fighters and the attack helicopters, conducted in 1978 and 79. To the surprise of many involved in the program, the helicopters proved extremely dangerous to the fighters when they were properly employed, racking up 5 to 1 kill ratios over the fighters. And 78, 79, we've got big fighters, F-15s and F-14s here, uh, when fighting at close ranges with guns. The lesson was that fixed-wing aircraft should not attack helicopters except at long range and or how to choose with long range missiles. This was worrying for air forces based primarily on fixed-wing assets, leading to several design studies for helicopter hunting aircraft there's lots of cool stuff you can read here phase one two three and four and on the helicopters we're interested in are ah1 cobras oh58 scouts we've got the mi24 hind we've got the sea king we've got the uh blah, 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 the uh1n we've got a uh1h that we'll use uh we've also got a mistral that we'll use uh, and in in terms of planes your f4 phantom a7 corsair the A-10, oh, I did have an A-10, that's interesting. And the F-15, uh, the A-10 wasn't a fighter, that's not what we're talking about today. We're selected, Air Force to take part, and you've got the different kill ratios and, and stuff here. At the end of the day, the helicopters won. Why did they win? And this is interesting because it brings us back to an earlier video that we did, which was, can the A-10 Warhawk fight against modern fighter jets? And the answer, and I'll link it in the video if you want a video description, you can go and see that. Yes, it can. It absolutely can. In fact, the golden rule. I've been taught by my superiors in DCS, I don't know about real life, but it says don't get within five miles of an A-10 because they'll rock you within five miles. They are highly manoeuvrable. They're not sustained fighters, but they're highly manoeuvrable. They'll get a quick snapshot. Their missiles are just as good as yours at the end of the day. They're sidewinders within five miles and they'll shoot you down. So shoot them down at long range only. And that's something I've learned and seen plenty of A-10s shoot down plenty of fighters in real, you know, combat games that we do. And is it going to be the similar with this? Is it going to be stay five miles or some miles away from helicopters? Uh, we do have some evidence in our games that we've done, our big combat games, but we'll talk about that a bit later when the actual results come through from the testing, which we'll do shortly. So we're going to test this with one-on-ones in DCS. The planes we'll use will be the F-15C representing the F-15A, and we'll use the F-14B representing the F-4, so that's as close as we're going to get, I think. The weapons, which is more important, that we'll use will be period-correct weapons. We've got the AIM-7... F, which was period correct, and the AIM 9 L Lima, which is also correct. Now, just before we get in there, let's just talk about some basic physics. The problem with uh, shooting down helicopters is it's very hard to do in a plane. Unless the helicopters are flying A, very fast, and or, well, and really, uh, very high, then it's almost impossible to see them on your radar. And a modern fighter jet is really based around its radar simply because the helicopter is probably going to be moving so slowly that it will actually be, uh, if you do it, like withdrawn, hidden from the pilot by the onboard notch filter of a modern pulse Doppler radar. Now, some of these planes can also use pulse radar instead of pulse Doppler radar, which allows you to search for slow moving targets like helicopters. The problem with, with a pulse radar is that you can't use it aiming down at the ground because the, it can't cut the ground feedback away so a helicopter is invariably going to be low anyway because you know, it's just how a helicopter is going to operate so a pulse radar won't work either so you're going to have to go in uh, so the fact is unless you're in very substantial circumstances you're not going to be able to see them with your radar or your radar go to missiles so you'll have to go in and find them with your eyes you'll have the ir sensor on your sidewinder or sidewinder variant however the you are much hotter than he is so he will see your heat signature before you see his and he's going to have pretty much the same air-to-air -air type missile in terms of uh, equal missile in terms of IR guided missile and also visually if you're looking at cannons it's going to be much easier for that helicopter to see a huge 25 ton F-15 than vice versa seeing a small 
uh, helicopter that can hover near trees. So this does all make sense. But let's go and try it in DCS, uh, see what conclusions we get. Any predictions? Super RC. I think that uh, it will be difficult for the Jets to hit a helicopter. I think the helicopter is yeah. going to have better luck, and the reason especially we, the Mistral. The reason we say that is because from we pretty much know what's going to happen because we've been doing this for years now and hunting down helicopters, proper helicopters with proper human pilots that actually know how to evade is going to be a very difficult thing to do. Stand by. For the first test, I'm in a UH-1H Huey. I've got aimable... Uh, 7.62 miniguns on the left and the right. My AI co-pilot is going to be aiming them. And that's the weaponry we've got. And I've also got 30 flares, I believe. Our C is going to spawn in in a new jet. It's going to be a period correct. It's going to have for the AIM-7s and the sidewinders that we discussed earlier. So we can see each other on the map. We're not really trying to hide from each other massively. But I'm going to stay low to keep out of his ability to trap me with the radar. And I'm going to use my eyes, obviously, to see him. I'm going to force him to come and use his eyes to see me. It's very hard to see a small helicopter. Probably shouldn't paint myself with a big red stripe. That would, probably doesn't help, but... Okay, pretty much on vector now. If you're thinking, damn, this pilot's a terrible helicopter pilot, then you're right. He is. Any luck on your radar, RC? Nope. Should be coming up on you now, though. Somewhere. I will not fire at you. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, guys. Valued viewers on the stream. Am I doing something wrong here? I'm chasing him around. My gun I won't fire at him. You know what? The um, the door gunners would fire at the planes, but I don't know about them. Oh, really? Yeah. No, it's right on my nose, guys. It's right on my nose. It's just not fucking doing it. Oh, haha, here he goes. Oh, there it goes. Hello, I'll see. Get some. Now, oh, I've made an error here. I've gone too high. He's going to get me with his gun now. So, I'm going to bank over. Dodge! Oh, got a hit. You got a hit, I'll see. Am I smoking? Am I smoking? No, I'm good. Right, I've got to get low. I've got to, I've got to force him into my area. I almost had a missile shot on you, but I do you not want me to use the missiles? Yeah, use whatever you've got to use, you know, got to do what they did. Can you get missile shot with the period correct missiles? I don't know. Should have shot me. You know, it's very hard for RC to see a little helicopter down here. Very easy for me to see him. Yeah. I, I can even hear. I can even I can tell where you are from the, your engine sound. I bet you can't hear me. No, I can't hear you. But I can see you. Creating a lot of dust down there. Yeah, it's one dangerous thing. Oh, you you changed direction. Yeah, I know. I'm sneaky, I'll see. Oh. <laughs> I can't just charge at you. I've got to have to, have to zigzag towards you. Yeah, you do. But I, I know from being in that copy how hard it is to try and get me and find me. Oh. He can't get a radar lock. He won't get a radar lock me down here. He can waggle his sidewinder and that might find me, but he's got to know roughly where to put it. Oh. Flares, baby, flares! Oh, ho, ho. this is so cool! It's the best dog fight ever. You almost died. Problem is, Damn I've got it. very, very cool engine. You know, in comparison with you. Yeah. And I've got flares that are just as good as your flares. So, did you see it go for the flares? Yep. Yeah. So right I, I, I don't even ground. need. To, I don't even need to come off the collective. The thing that I've also got is a shit gunner, and he refuses to fire at you whatever he does. Flares out. Oh! oh! 
Oh, double KO. <laughs> double KO. <laughs> oh, did I get you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I crashed or whatever. But, okay. Good count, though. You know, I mean, bearing in mind, if you would have thought, hmm, Huey versus an F-15 loaded up with uh, medium range and short range and uh, M-61, who would win? I mean, it was a double KO in the end. And to be honest, my right. guy was just not firing. He had like one a second where he would actually bother firing. And the rest of the time, he wouldn't. I should have just fired myself. So that shows, even there, to be honest, pretty much Bith confirmed. But uh, we're going to try it the other way around now. I'll go and try an F-14 with period correct weapons. RC, you be a gazelle. Right, RC is now in the mighty Mistral gazelle, which is basically a anti-aircraft helicopter. I'm going to get myself sorted. So I'm going in with a sparrow. Just as looking out for targets. And I can use F10 map just to make sure. I want to make sure we merge, obviously. Are you um, armed up and ready, RC? Yep. Right, can we see him? Can we see the blighter? It's not going to work, basically. You can't see a plane, an aircraft that's not moving in comparison to his background. So pulse Doppler radar like this won't work. Could we switch to pulse mode and find it? No, because pulse mode doesn't work with terrain in the background. So... As far as radar is concerned, I'm blind, so already I've given up with that. Get ready. We've got a bandit. 12 o'clock. Three Come miles. On. Three miles, just to see you. <laughs> yeah, so, let's see if I can get the um, side one. Really. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell me much useful, but... Can't get a tone. Think rate's too high. Getting a tone on such a little engine is going to be very hard for me. Check for speed. We're hit. Oh Jesus Christ! We have some fuse I didn't even see you. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, I'm still fighting. I'm now the one back. good thing about oh no, I see. I hate you so much. <laughs> Ow! With the gazelle of all things. Oh, finally, I've got a tone on the sun. Missile, seven o'clock. Uh, I am chewed. Wow, what a plane killer that is! Amazing. I uh, hit you with two, missed you yeah. with two. No, you're no, going to win. No. You're going to win every day. And this is not just kind of uh, anecdotal. We did a real campaign called the Coffee Campaign, and the one thing we were surprised about is the things that won every time without losing were the helicopters. Well, not every time, but most of the time, um, if an air-to-air -air helicopter came anywhere near a plane, a flanker, a Tomcat, an F-15, that helicopter was going to win. And we've literally just seen it there. I'll try it one more time, RC, but there's almost no way I can beat you. Um, it's they can't. That. They're saying bomb me with a two thousand pound. They, I saw him long before he saw me. Yeah, the helicopter he always sees the plane. I'll be an F fifteen because I'm a bit better in an F fifteen, and I'll, I'm going to do my absolute best to come and kill you. Well, this is a post stop only radar, so unless he's going to start moving at hundred knots, it's not going to pick him up. It's going to be in the notch filter. My best bet is playing his game. I think, which is just get down low, and low, low enough so he can't see me. That's the best thing I can think of doing. If I go high, he's going to blast me again, and get ready with my uh, flares. Yeah, if you go below the trees, mm -hmm. I won't see you. Just stay below the trees. Problem is, because I'm below the never trees, I can never, I'll never be able to find you. <laughs> so, I think this uh, J-Catch is, uh, is got something to it, man. It's, um, or, I mean, probably a ground radar will be better at finding them than an air-to-air -air radar. I couldn't get you on radar until yeah. it got you right in front of me in the uh, okay. ACM. Even if you see them, you might not be able to get a lock. I'm also going to go in with high kinetics. Missile 12 o'clock. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. I'll see. Engines off. Flares out. Get away from that mother. Right. I just locked it. I'm going to come back and get you, I'll see. Oh, there it is. I'm going to come back and get you. A big F 15. No. Oh. Right. Now oh, get big lag spikes. Ugh. Not my problem, RC. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> right, I know <laughs> roughly where he is. Must I'm going to attack him from this area here, valued viewers. Let's go and hunt him down. They're IR guided missiles stream. I'm going to switch to guns and sidewinders, if I can. Try sidewinders first and then guns. I'm going to. Just keep an eye out for him. Stream, let me know if you see him, because I can't see him. Right, I'm going to have to cheat and find out where you are. You are... Oh, merge. Ah, got him, got him, got him, got him. 
Yeah, with F10 cheating, I've got him. Shoot. Shoot. Fox 2. Got him! Oh, he survived, he survived! <laughs> yeah, not long. Not for long. You dead? Oh, I just saw my rotors pass. One, my one, one nil, yeah. Okay, I mean, I couldn't have done that if I hadn't cheated on F10, because I would never have seen you. You're just too hard to spot. Um, right, do you want to knock it off there, RC? Sure. So, to reiterate, I've got to go down and dirty, where he can see me easily. Oh, look, my plane's still going. He can see me easily. But I can't see him because I'm a thumping great 50 foot loud beast and he's a tiny little 20 foot, 25 foot thing that can stay still against the trees and I can't do that. So he gets the advantage there in sound and visuals. Helicopters don't tangle with helicopters unless you, unless it's a non-air to air helicopter. If it's a norm, an attack, normal attack helicopter, you're fine, go and tangle with it. If it's a Mistral, don't tangle with it. If it's uh, any of the new planes that are coming, uh, the new KA-50 that's going to have sidewinders with it, uh, stingers, Iglers, uh, don't tangle with it because you're just going to get shot down. Okay, well, we've got Artie saying that you can kill them uh, with ma with Mavericks in a Harrier, which I have done before. So, yeah, an A10 or a, um, uh, a Harrier would probably do a better job, wouldn't they? In fact, they almost certainly would. Uh, yeah, because slower, you know, slower. Slower, prefer. less heat signature, and they've got a teapot. They can just sit 10 miles away and just scan, whereas a fighter can't get do that. Get out of the server? <laughs> I did that to you, RC. I just did that to you. <laughs>